Hey, this is Michael Brent Collings. I'm the author of Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, and I'll be reading a page a day with my real, not at all paid actor kids. Say hi, real kids. Hi. We're gonna be doing this a page a day until it goes viral. I reach 100 pages or I get tired, whichever comes first. So please don't forget to share, like, comment, all that stuff, and help us go viral for Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, which releases March 5th, 2024. They stopped by the park where they discovered that the senior saber soldiers not only did lightning sword duels daily, but also reenacted famous battles from history. Though one of them admitted to mom that every reenactment eventually devolved into a jetpack and lightning sword battle. They watched a man with a bow tie watch his, walk his four-legged pet shark and saw a woman go through the car wash in her invisible Jeep. And then they went to the movies. At first, the Grimms figured the new Marburg Tri-D Hollow Cinema Experience was a movie theater decorated to look like the old Roman Colosseum, complete with marble-looking facades, arches, columns, and canvas awnings that fluttered lightly in a wind that somehow persisted even on the stillest of days. They were half right. The place was designed to look like the Roman Colosseum, but it definitely did not show mere movies. In true New Marburg fashion, it showed holographic three-dimensional events where instead of watching a space battle, you floated alongside the main character. Instead of viewing superheroes fight from a distance, you ran super speed with them as they battled their foes. Jake and Mom loved it, but it made Willow queasy. Halfway through the movie, she excused herself to go to the bathroom. Mom said she couldn't go alone, so Jake volunteered to go with her. They climbed over six asteroids, swam through a nebula, and then dropped into a black hole with a shiny red exit sign over it. Want to get some popcorn? said Jake as they entered the lobby. Mom slipped me ten bucks. <laughs> 